Scott. My name's Scott. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. It's a lot of fun to be on the other side of the country, even if it is a little chilly. <laughs> we don't we don't mind that a bit. It's nice to come over here and realize rain still falls from the sky, you know? We're from California. This is this event is this event was born in California. We have six events across the state in California. And last year uh, we were in, it was nice enough of White Flower Farm to come host us, you know, in our first year last year, so we're thrilled to be back. As you go through the through the piles there, you'll find some tomatoes that are stretched out and kind of rangy like this one, others that are a little tighter and a little bit more stocky. Which one's better? Either one. <laughs> well, there you go. Some people like that, some people like that. And that's the only difference. That's the only difference. Okay? This one is just as healthy as this one. And when you put that, when you put these tomatoes in the ground, I don't care how tall it is, I only want to see four to five inches of tomatoes sticking out of the ground. So when you plant them, if you planted them next to each other, you're going to bury this one. Okay, you're going to bury the stem all the way up to there. That fibrous stem will root, okay, and you have a sturdier plant. You have more, more roots immediately for water absorption and, and nutrient absorption, all right? And it's just, it's just smart because this part of the plant will get really stocky and look like that in about three days. Okay, so that's where it goes. This one, you can bury this a little bit. You can bury this a couple inches. Take off all the leaves below where you're going to, you know, anything that's going to be below ground, take it off and you're good to go. When you put them in the ground, find a sunny spot. Okay, tomatoes are field crop. They want as much sun as you can give them, especially here. We want heat, all right? Don't put it in the shade. You won't grow tomatoes in the shade, all right? If you've got a partially sunny space that you're not sure about, you better try a cherry there first, because that's going to be the most amenable to, to a, a spot that's not fully, not fully sunny, okay? When you put the tomato in the ground, if you have a, a really nice area in your garden that you've used and is nicely you know, composted and all, you're, you're pretty much set. You, even, if, even if you do, and especially if you don't, add something to, the, to, that, to that mix before you put the tomato in the ground. Buy a great bagged product. That usually translates to expensive. Okay, don't get chicken manure and don't find steer manure and put it into the ground. Find a good bag, bagged mix and amend. Change your soil composition by adding that. That's what you want to do before you put this puppy in, okay? And once you do that, you plant it out again at the, at the depth that we talked about. I pulled off the leaves of this one earlier to talk about if you have a plant like this that's really long and you want to bury it to here, because your soils are still cool and because if you put these roots down, down low you're going to find cooler yet mm -hmm. soil still, right? Mm -hmm. um, probably a good idea for you in Connecticut to trench it. To dig a, to dig a trench, insert the plant like this. Okay, soil's here. Mm -hmm. Got it? This is just sticking out of the edge. In three days, that's going to be all straight and coming, aiming for the sun. No sweat. All right? And you've put all of that root ball into warmer soil, which is a good thing. Do this, and it goes into cooler soil, and it's liable to go, ooh, better not start growing yet. Oh, no. You know? <laughs> Got to wait a little bit and, uh, and, not, and won't be as happy. All right? So when you put your plant in, fertilize it. You have, you've already amended your soil, so you have a good growing medium. You need to give it a little vitamins. Whether you use something from White Flower Farm, okay, that's got an, it's a, a grow fertilizer that's 18, 18, 18, or you use, a, use a, an organic that's going to have much lower numbers. Whatever it is, balance is a key. The 18, 18, 18 makes sense. 888 eight, eight makes sense. That's what my grandfather used to use. Never strayed from that. 888, eight, eight, it's all he would do. If you're going to use an organic, you're probably going to find a 475 kind of numbers on there. It's all good. You do what you want in your garden. Chemical, organic, you decide. How much water do you give a tomato? Does it want a lot or a little? A lot. Okay. They will, they will take a lot of water. Okay. But you don't, but you don't, want, to, but you don't want to overdo it. All right. It's really important that you don't overdo it. When you fertilize, you're going to do it when you put the plant in, and you're going to fertilize again in about five weeks, when most of the plants start to flower or you're seeing a good amount of flower going on. That's it, especially if you have good soil. The plant, the, 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 the plant, will, the plant will take care of itself. As you get to the end of the season, a couple just hints at as, as ripening comes on. Um, we're all anxious for tomatoes. We are. But if you pick the minute, especially cherries, if you pick the minute things turn colors, you might be disappointed. You might be disappointed. So especially a cherry, let it sit on the vine just a little bit before you pick it. All right. If you don't have, sometimes if you have critters, you know, a lot of people have critters and you have to grab those tomatoes the minute they begin to color up. You do. So a lot of people do. If you do, pick them, put them on a counter in the kitchen. All right. You've done that before. Let them, let them fully ripen. You, you shouldn't sacrifice anything in taste. Uh, try to avoid the sunny window, however, because it will happen under the counter over here or on the, on the table. All right. It will happen. Sun tends to do the same thing refrigerator will do to, to flavor. 
it can, it can diminish it. So find a place in the kitchen where you can leave it a couple days, it colors up, then use it. Then you'll be, then you'll be set and you'll get, sort of get what you paid for. All right, and that's, and that's important. For more information on our plants and cultural recommendations, please visit our gardening help section of our website.